So you've been using Visual Studio for ever and you've noticed with the recent version of Visual Studio something weird keeps happening. Let me explain. You create a file, any C sharp file will do. Call it class one. And you can see that the name namespace here says scratch pad. So let's go ahead and let's copy this into the data folder. And now you'll notice that that same file that was called scratchpad, the namespace is now scratchpad.data, right? So basically Visual Studio is now mapping your files when you move them over to the appropriate, uh, to the, based on the folder uh, that they're in, it sets up an, a namespace structure that maps to that folder. Well, what if you don't want that? And the scenario where you might not want that is when you're moving files around for example, you're working with XAML or you know some kind of markup language, um, uh, UWP or something like that, a WPF, and you you know and it works fine when you're talking about just regular files. Not that it's fine because you do have to go in and <laughs> and keep updating it if you want it to be in a specific namespace. Um, but the actual XAML files themselves also change. It changes everything and it just throws you off completely. And it might not be what you want. So I'm going to show you how to take care of that. It's real simple. So you go to your tools, go to options. You go to your project and solutions. This one right here, projects and solutions. You scroll down, you see here where it says enable namespace update when moving files. Uncheck that. That's checked by default. And now if I copy this back out here, it's gonna retain the data, get rid of the data. And if I copy that into, let's say the repository, as an example, it's still gonna re uh, retain the scratch pad. So it's a quick, easy way for you to get your namespaces properly structured and not have to do with the, deal with the disruptive uh, feature of changing the namespaces. Now, for some people it works, but in scenarios where you don't need it, Here's how to solve it. Like and subscribe if you like our content. And as always, happy coding and have a blessed day.